Hello everyone, I am Manivanan from India. I have been developing many prototypes based on TinyML for different fields like medical, predictive maintenance and automotive. So in this project, uh, I'm going to explain how the TinyML model can be utilized in a medical field, uh, more specific to IV fluid level detector. So it's like a, 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 you can see in uh, many hospitals uh, where the patients will have that IV fluid level, right? Uh, so uh, that IV fluid is will be used in many conditions like uh, for a sugar patient, uh, operation patient or any type of patient that is very common throughout the world. So. There is one problem is still exists like sometimes if the IV fluid drops down and completely drained, there might be a chance of getting a little bit higher into the intravenous. So in that case, uh, this will cause an health issues and also sometimes it may leads to fatal. So still that problem exists in many of the countries. And uh, let's say, let's consider this kind of a scenario in India where the population is huge and uh, maintaining all the patients at the same time is little difficult for the uh, nursing staffs. So what I have done is like why can't we include some kind of a tiny ML model with sufficient base so it can monitor the IV fluid level whether it's an adequate or a low level or it's a 50 percent and then it gives the data to that uh, central system might be uh, where the nursing staff can monitor. So they could be able to periodically monitor that in a one place and they could be able to or refill it or just disconnect it at the proper at this exact time itself so that is my project let's go a little deeper into my project so in this uh, prototype i have used arduino potenta h7 and uh, for that uh, i have collected a data set which will have uh, three types uh, one is adequate and another is a less than 50 percent and another one is a low level so i have collected three different data sets of the iv field level and uh, i have trained that model using a simple software and i again i have deployed back to the Arduino potato itself so before going much deeper i uh, just want to give us a little uh, brief problem statement about that empty iv bag so there is a possibility like when we are uh, just hanging that iv bag due to some gravity completely drying there might be a scenario called some empty air uh, can be uh, went to the IV. So what will happen? It will just cause a fatality. Sometimes that term is called embolism. So and also like it's really challenging in a crowded hospitals, and more specifically uh, highly populated countries like uh, India. So the periodic monitoring by the staff is really challenging in uh, many uh, crowded hospitals. So these are the very two challenging situation for uh, monitoring the IV bag. So how my solution will solve that? So here the solution is like uh, we have to fit the Arduino Patanto in every uh, IV uh, stand where it can monitor the IV level and uh, it will just give the status to the central monitor system. Through some communication might be uh, we can write some application code on top of this model. It can communicate through LoRaWAN or it can communicate through Wi-Fi. So there are many, many possibilities are available. So in this uh, prototype, I just concentrated on that um, uh, tiny ML model alone. And you can see that it will predict whether it's an adequate less than 50% or a uh, low level. So uh, maybe uh, we can see that uh, detailed hardware setup and how it functioning and how the data acquisition is happening. Here is the prototype setup. For this prototype, I have used Arduino Potato H7 and a Vision Shield. And for data acquisition and model training, I have used the Edge software. So in this setup, you can see uh, there is an IV drips flared where it's in open condition now. And I'm parallelly doing the data acquisition. And I'm just collecting the data for three different data sets. One is the adequate and another one is the less than 50 percentage and third one is the low level hope you've seen that uh hardware setup and complete uh data acquisition stage so i just give a brief uh, overview like these are the data sets i have collected so you can see adequate uh, of the data sets and uh, less than 50 percentage you can see it's almost like less than 50 and low level it's almost completely drained very little amount of uh, IV fluid is available uh so for that uh, i have used a impulse model well, I have collected the data sets of all one seven items. So it's a very basic step as a 
uh, input image width and height will be 96 into 96 and uh, classification as a neural network classification and uh, just generated the features here with RGB and uh, once the features are generated in the neural network classifier I have used the 2D convolutional layer with the 32 filters and one layer and a three kernel size and the draw port I have used is 0.1 just to, to improve the uh, uh, accuracy I cannot say maybe like to avoid some overfitting and I have used a flatten layer and I used a dense layer of 10 neurons and that output layer will be three classes so for that training cycle is 200 and the learning rate is 0 0.005 I have used and I could able to achieve the accuracy around 95.8 and uh, you can see that uh, there are some cases uh, due to some lighting difference sometimes less than 50 percent sometimes uh, I take it as an adequate level and once the model is trained I have gone to the deployment section and I have selected Arduino Potanto and I have built the software once I build uh, it will be downloaded as the uh, dot bad and dot command and dot uh, linux dot sh so based on your os you can select which one you want so make sure you just uh, press the uh, reset button twice in the audio potato like this so you can see that uh, led green light is just fading in and fading out so it indicates it's in the flash mode so that time just uh, click that uh, dot bat or uh, dot command uh, based on your os so once it is done then type edge impulse run impulse in the command window so this is the output i have got so in the command window once i type edge impulse run impulse uh, in the same setup i could able to get that output here hope you liked my project for many tiny ml projects in a different fields please subscribe to my channel thank you